This is the Lesson 4 Paragraph Formatting Investigation page. I'm just going to show you the answers here. You can pause this video if you weren't here and fill these in. The only one that isn't filled in at this point is this picture here. And I'm just going to tell you that this is the line and paragraph spacing command that lets you access different line spacing and some paragraph spacing options here. And this one with the three periods would open the dialog box for paragraph settings right here, which is the same dialog box that we would get if we click the paragraph launcher. This group of paragraph commands is found on the Layout tab. This is an example showing that even though it looks like there's more space between these two lines versus these two lines, they both use multiple 1.0 line spacing. So if I click here and go and look at my line spacing, multiple 1.08. So it's just taking the size, the height of the original, whatever points it's at, and it's adding 8% more space. So the bigger the font, the bigger the line spacing will be. And the reason they use 1.08 is that you have good readability. Okay, so we went through watermarks, how to insert them here using uh, these presets, removing it with this custom watermark by coming here and choosing whether you want a picture or a text. If you use a text, you can type in what you like there. This page is just all about where you find the various uh, spacing. Now this spacing here on the Layout tab, found right here, is paragraph spacing, the line between the paragraphs, which is also found in the paragraph settings found if you click the launcher right here. Now it doesn't say the word paragraph here, so you have to know that. Okay, there's an indentation here, which is also found on the layout tab here. And if we go to the line spacing back here on the home tab, uh, and we click this one, it also opens the Paragraph Settings dialog box. Okay, so this is called the Line and Paragraph Spacing, and it will open the Paragraph dialog box. Custom printing, uh, we just did these examples. Anytime you want to print separate pages, you just separate them with a comma. Anytime you have a range of pages that are adjacent to each other, you can put a dash. So this will print page 10, page 11, and page 12. So we filled those in. And uh, we left this as uh, optional. And uh, margins, we talked about how on the Layout tab, you can get to the preset margins, like normal, narrow, moderate, wide, and so on. And also, if you click custom margins here, you are going to open this dialog box. Uh, make sure you type your margins in and hit tab. And that would be the same dialog box as clicking the page setup launcher. So that's as far as we got. Oh no, actually we did do this. So first we circled the things that were different on our page for A and B, and we could see A had an art borders, and diagram B has no art border. And we can see that 
here we're on the borders tab and in A we're on the page border tab and also this is a little bit different. So the bottom line is when you click the design tab page borders icon which is here design tab page borders it takes you directly to this page border tab and what you set here with a style and color and whatnot is going to be applied to your entire page. Whereas if you go to the home tab and click on borders and then borders and shading this one's going to take you to the borders tab and it's going to apply to two different things it can apply to text or to the paragraph if you have text selected before you come to the dialog box like I do right now you are going to get a I'll say a box border around the text that's selected. That's when it says text. It knows it's selected text, so it will put it there. But if you didn't have anything selected and you came here and you applied a border, it's going to apply to the whole paragraph. We also talked about custom borders. So if I wanted a custom border on this page, I could come, I could come through here, but I need to remember to click page border. And then if I pick a line style like solid and a color like red and something nice and thick, and then I click on the preview at the top, I will get red on the top. Then I can change and make a custom blue border on the bottom and so on. So you, you make your settings with your weights and then you click on the line where it will go and that is how you get a custom border when I say okay I get my custom border here